Do you mind if I hold your hand? Why? Just a touch. Just a tickle. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. You know, one night not too long ago, one night down by the docks, I was standing alone under an arch, watching all the men jibbing the boom. Well, I was out in the arbor, and they were playing about with a yard, and when this certain lady came up to me and, and made me a certain proposal. Now, this lady, she'd been searching for me for days. She'd lost track of my whereabouts. However, the fact is, she eventually caught up with me, and when she did, she made me this certain proposal. Well, this proposal wasn't entirely out of order, and normally I would subscribe to it. I mean, I would subscribe in the normal sort of circumstances. The only trouble was, she was falling apart with the pox. So I turned her down. Well, this lady was very insistent, and she started taking liberties with me under the arch. And liberties, by any criterion, I couldn't be held accountable for standing. So I clumped her one. Do you know, it was on my mind at the time to do away with her. A killer. And the fact was, as killings go, it would have been a simple thing, nothing to it. The chauffeur who had found me for her, he popped off to the pub for a drink, which just left this lady and myself, you see, alone, down under the arch, watching all the steamers steaming up, no one about, all quiet on the western front. And there she was, up against the wall, well, just sliding down the wall from the blow I'd given her, yeah, well, to sum up, everything was in my favor for a killing. I worry about the chauffeur, the chauffeur, he would have never spoken, you know. He was an old friend of the family. But in the end, I thought, bah, why go to all the bother, you know? Getting rid of a corpse and all that, getting yourself worked up into a state of tension. So I just gave her another blow to the nose and a couple of turns of the boot and sort of left it at that. How'd you know she was diseased? How'd I know? I decided she was. <laughs>